What is up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to upcoming scent of the month for January of 2024. We are moving into a new month, and we have a new scent to get us excited, plus a new warmer. So let's talk a little tiny bit about the warmer. I usually don't purchase the warmer. As a consultant, you're allowed to purchase the scent and warmer of the month, just the scent, or you don't have to purchase either, and you can change it up month to month. So the warmer of the month, I'll include pictures here as I talk. It's called Sweetheart, and it is an element warmer. Now I believe I was watching Charity Rose's video and she said it was a nine watt. So I'm gonna go with nine watt, thank you Charity. And what it is, is it's kind of on a tilt and it has a built in dish. So this would be a warmer that you'd want to use a cotton cleanup for or the cool down or warm up method to remove your wax or cotton balls obviously. Now with this type of warmer here, it's, it has picturing four cubes in the dish. So I'm not sure if that would be a wise choice because it does dip down. I would say start with two and see how you go. And obviously it's tailored towards Valentine's Day. It will be featured at 10% off in the month of January. After that, it goes back to regular price. It is 15 centimeters tall, which would be six inches. So let's talk about the scent of the month because that's my favorite part. Now, before we get into that, I have two things to discuss. One, the scent of the month kit is kind of changing a little bit because normally we used to get eight bars well actually before we used to get nine bars and now we're down to eight but now we're down to seven and we are getting a pod included with our scent of the month kit now i don't have the pod because what i do is i share my kit with my director and we decided whoever pays gets the pod so next month when i have it charged to my account i will get the pod plus three bars and she will get four bars so anyway i have a total of four scent of the month bars here and this one is called Candy Orchard. Now I've already labeled it for the date that I received it. And I think it's kind of ironic, and Dan said he did not choose this based on his name, but we've had Orchard by the Sea, and we've had Candy Orchard. Seems kind of suspicious. <laughs> anyway, so Candy Orchard, they have put this in the fruity category. So we'll read the scent, and I will talk about it. And act I've actually warmed it for about a day, so I can give you a little bit of feedback. All right, here we go, it says, Candy Orchard, a cloud of spun sugar mixes with sweet raspberry and warm vanilla in a candy coated fantasy. All right, so we have top notes of raspberry, mid notes of spun sugar, base notes, warm vanilla. Yeah, it smells like a mild creamy cotton candy raspberry version of a scent. Like, it doesn't smell as sweet as cotton candy because there's a little bit of vanilla in there, but there's definitely a raspberry lean toward this scent. I like it. On cold sniff, it is between light and medium. So what I decided to do was I just popped it in the warmers right away when I got it. I didn't even ask my family for feedback. I never got them to smell it. I just took it and started warming it. So I put it in here in my bedroom in a 25 watt press tin warmer, which is a ceramic warmer. And I, I'm gonna say, First off, it reminded me quite a bit of pink sugarberry mint. The first thing I thought was when I, when I started to smell it in the room, I'm like, that's kind of smells like pink sugarberry mint. But without mint, obviously, I don't really get mint, but some people do. But it was a little bit more, maybe more of a creamy vanilla version of that. But that's what I was getting quite a bit of. And for strength, I would say in the first couple hours, it was between four and five in the room. And then by the end of the day, which I think for me probably would have been a 12 to 14 hour time frame. By the end of that time, it was probably maybe between five and six. So it, it almost took a while to build in the room and then I shut it off. I haven't started it up again. And I could be wrong on how long I warmed it because I forgot to write that down. But it's almost like it was a slow builder, but in an enclosed space, it started to thrive a little bit because it was building and building the scent molecules were staying in the room and lingering. So I must say, I liked this a lot more than I thought I was going to, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, I've been watching a couple videos here and there. Usually I try not to, but I, I just didn't seem to, you know, stay away as well as I usually do. And a couple of people said it reminded them of Angel 624, and I would say definitely, yes. Very similar to Angel. This might have a little bit more of a blueberry, blackberry kind of twinge to, to, to it instead of raspberry. Um, like I said, it reminds me of pink sugarberry mint. Um, a little bit of pink haze, just a little, because I think there's some raspberry fondant or something like that in here. Yeah, but more fruity than pink haze, but that creamy billowy note is in there. So this is really good. Now, I, I forgot to talk to you about the second point. <laughs> I go off on these tangents and I get distracted. The second thing I need from you guys 
I need you to vote on my YouTube polls for the scent of the month. So what I've broken it down, the first four months, the middle four months, the last four months of the year. And what I do is I, I take all that feedback and I say, hmm, which ones should I add to my top 12 scents of 2023? Because every year I do a top 12 scent list. I've done it since 2018 and I'm gonna keep that trend going. But sometimes I need a little viewer input and I often have my own opinions, but I like to hear what the viewers and the public are purchasing. So that's why I put those polls up. And I wanna to get to 500 votes per poll. That way I can roughly equate, I mean, I, I can always do math to um, proportionalize the votes, but I just wanna get a lot of votes. So go back to my community tab on YouTube here and scroll down. You'll see a lot of different posts, but scroll down, there'll be three total polls for scent of the month. I love your input. So if you have tried Candy Orchard, we should call it Dan Candy Orchard. <laughs> if you've tried this scent, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, or if you're thinking of picking it up, let me know. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. This is probably the last video you will see from me before the big day. So I'm looking forward to seeing if Santa visits our home. And hopefully if you celebrate Christmas, you will get, you know, scentsy instead of coal. <laughs> so Merry, Merry Christmas to anyone who celebrates our happy holidays. This is a really important time of year for me to express my gratitude and appreciation for all the people that view my videos. Whether you are a customer of mine or not, you're a viewer, you're a teammate, or you're just a sensi enthusiast just like me, I wanna say thank you, have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate, have a happy holidays, please stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.